There's a little bit of rivalry. Um, I always try to help Mitch out a bit. Always me beating him up in the backyard. I try to put a positive spin on it. He always had the priority being the, the older out of the two of us and the bigger one. So whatever he said pretty much went. So, and I just went along with it. The one that sits in my head the most is when we're trying to take speckies on each other. So I was always the, the jumping bag and he was always the one jumping up, taking the hang. Oh. <laughs> Mum's sort of been over there every second week. She's made an excuse of going over there for a holiday pretty much. So she's enjoying that, going over and supporting Mitch. But um, yeah, they've, I think Mum's got a jumper made up. Adelaide West Coast jumper, she's made up. That's so how much she's starting to support it. Jeremy McGovern is our guest now. Welcome, Jeremy. You sound like a good big brother, just the fact that you used to beat up Mitch in the backyard and put a nice little positive spin on that one. Yeah, I tried to put a positive spin on it. Uh, it was good fun, actually. But um, I, I'd always said to him that it's always going to pay off, so um, I hope it did, but um, it was good fun for me back in the day. You've pulled up OK from yesterday? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. good. Excellent. Yeah, a little bit sore, but that's just footy, I think, so I'm all right. Well, we just saw you and Mitch as well, and I believe, of course, the loyalties have got to be a little bit split within the family. We've even had the split jumper made up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mum got that made up straight away, so as soon as Mitch got picked up, she made it, um, put the pressure on him straight away to, to get a game as soon as he can, and uh, it was good the other the other week they got to wear it, and um, they only had to go watch one game, which was good for them. And Dad's still looking OK. They're still oh. into that one, Just. Yeah, he's just squeezing into it. Um, <laughs> Did you watch boy. much of him play? Like, have you seen much of him play? Yeah, 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 a fair bit. Yeah, Did, you rate him? Did you rate him? Yeah, oh, you're a great old man for sure. He's the best player ever. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, I used to watch him a fair bit, and uh, obviously I grew up watching Freya and watching him, so, um, yeah, it was always good to watch, and uh, we, we got to go in the club rooms and that a fair bit, which is always good as a young fella. His boys are different players, though, aren't they? Yeah, we're a bit tall than him. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'd probably play a completely different game, really. Um, but, yeah, I think we've got a few attributes that the old man had. A Th few things we didn't know about you, and unbelievably, you've basically chosen to take a pay cut and take up AFL because you're a plumber and an electrician. <laughs> they can just charge the earth. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's why I've, I'm in it, and that's why I want to uh, yeah, do what after footy, hopefully. But... Um... Yeah, no, I wouldn't say I'd taken a pay cut, but um, it definitely, <laughs> definitely keeps me busy outside of footy. What's the coach think of you missing uh, Monday recovery sessions? No, I don't miss any Monday recovery <laughs> sessions, mate. No, not at all. Um, no, he's all right. Simo, he's, he's all about doing stuff outside of footy, which is good, and uh, I've got the plumbing business there, so it's good. And a nice little picture of uh, you and Mitch there. It didn't quite go to plan yesterday, unfortunately. Collingwood too strong in the end by 19 points in what was a big win for the Pies and Bolts. Take us through it. Yeah, certainly a, a very scrappy game at the MCG and uh, certainly the first quarter. Gaff and uh, side bottom got busy early on but Darcy Moore was on fire, jumping over everyone. He took six uh, marks. Five of those contested. He was the best on, on the ground in that first half and uh, I just felt Collingwood's pressure and hunt around the, the stoppages particularly. They had a, a record 118 uh, tackles. They, they were dominant clearances, 47 to 28. Uh, they scored eight goals, six from those stoppages. Uh, Grundy was fantastic at 45. Hit outs to, to Lysette's 22, but side bottom was terrific. Pendlebury got plenty of the footy and had 34 and 13. Ta Taylor Adams had 36 and uh, 11 as well. And it was a five goal to one second term that really uh, broke it open a little bit. And then they four hard um, after Darcy Moore went down after half time. Jeremy was able to roam free in that third term but Collingwood really stamped their authority in that final term and, and really put the clamps on uh, and I just felt that uh, the three things I learnt were Collingwood thrived from dominance at stoppages with uh, Grundy in his form uh, and their really work around those stoppages. They were fantastic. West Coast were outworked and outhunted with that 118 tackles uh, from Collingwood. And the third thing was Taylor Adams is in line for the next captaincy. He was terrific with his 36 uh, disposals and 11 uh, uh, tackles. He just worked tirelessly around the stoppages. He was getting good service, but he's just, he's, uh, you know, he's really a combative type character and, uh, you know, you've had a lot to do with him, Max. He's a, he's a fantastic player. Yeah, he's a bull. Loves uh, the contested footy. And I think uh, the big knock on Tay sort of the last few years was his disposal. And, uh, and I saw, I was only with him for probably 12 months uh, at the club, but he would work so hard just on his kicking. He'd spend sort of half an hour, 45 minutes at the end of training, just doing it backward and forward, making sure he got better. And I think it's been real improvement this year. And, yeah, I agree with you. Someone who's certainly growing in his leadership capacity. What about Darcy Moore, Jeremy? You got a pretty good look at him yesterday. How did you go into the game as a team? Did you... Going thinking that he was a number one forward or cloak, how did you prepare for him? Oh, we, we prepare pretty similar for, to all three. That We all know they're all, all three of them. Jesse White, obviously, down there as well, and cloak. Um, we prepared, you know, they got three good tools, solid tools. So um, he was, yeah, really getting on top of us probably in that first half. Um, took a lot of marks, but 
to out to us. We they took a lot of, at the top of the square, which um, no coach likes seeing and no backline likes letting that sort of happen. So um, it, was, it was a big blow on us as backline for uh, for letting that happen.